today we're going to take a look at the light air switch from Shaber. This is a complete lighting control solution for boats, RVs, campers, specialty vehicles, etc. What makes this unique is that it uses wireless switching and in, indeed it's batteryless switching as well. These switches use the kinetic energy from you pushing the switch to send a wireless signal to the receiver which then controls the light using this lighting and dimming module without having to run any wires through the bowels of the boat or RV. Uh, there's no conduits needed. You can mount these things literally anywhere. They can be on the wall. They could be on the tabletop or li literally could be in your pocket. Um, there's also key fob versions of this available. So it's a 12 volt or 24 volt system. It can control up to six channels of lights for on and off as well as dimming. It's very easy to set up. It's very easy to program and I'm going to show you that here. I'm going to attempt to program a boat's worth of lights very quickly. What's included in the kit is the receiver module that receives the 2.4 gig digital signal from the light switches and it converts it to a CAN bus signal which sends it by these CAN bus cables plug and play to the receiver or to the uh, lighting control module. Lighting control module then actuates and dims all the various lighting circuits. There's no relays in here. This is all solid state. You don't require an extra DC panel with switches or fuses or breakers because it's all included in the module. All you need to do is attach 12 volts, which we've done here. This system uses these little Pico connectors, which are really cool. I've got a light here and I've stripped the wires and I'm going to connect those to this Pico connector by just shoving them in there. And um, it's sort of a finger trap type system. So you basically just trim the wires and twist them. Let's see if I can do it here real quick. And push and lock. And once they're locked in there, you'll hear a click. And now you have a connector that can be plugged in to the side of the block here. There's six channels, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to go ahead and simulate a boat's worth of lights here by adding a second channel. So this would be, say, the salon. This would be the cabins. And this would be, say, the galley lights. I only have one light here to show you, but we have five amps per channel, so we could have multiple lights, literally dozens and scores of lights on each channel. And remember, it's got the circuit protection, so in case there was a short circuit, uh, this would, would turn off automatically and you could reset it like a resettable breaker. Also included in this bag of parts are two 120 ohm terminating resistors. The CAN bus works like a chain, so it's a daisy chain into one module, out of that module to the next module, etc. But because we only have two modules here, we have to tell the CAN bus which one is the start of the chain and which one's the end of the chain. And really, it doesn't care who's the start and who's the end. We just need to notify it that we're at the end of the chain by plugging in these terminating resistors. And that's standard with all CAN bus systems. So now we basically have the network set up. We have the receiver module, which is a gateway that converts the 2.4 gig signal to the CAN bus signal, it sends it directly to the module. And on the module, we have two buttons, a learn, learn, mod, learn button and a clear button. We won't use the clear button today because that clears out the memory of previous settings within the box. And in this case, we don't have any previous settings. We've got the first three channels occupied. Remember, we have four, five, six as well that are unoccupied. We're going to go ahead and press the learn button. And when we press and hold that, it takes us to the first channel and says, hey, I'm ready to learn my switch pairing. Which switch would you like to pair? Well, I'm going to go ahead and use this switch here. I'm going to say the top is on and it received the signal and it went steady to show me that it's received the signal and now which one is off and I press off and now it goes back into the learn mode so it's ready to accept more switches up to 128 switches if you want a three-way or four-way or five-way lighting and I'll show you that here in a minute but we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next channel channel 2 and we're gonna go ahead and program that we're gonna say this is on and this is off and so now that's programmed now we're gonna go on to channel 3 and wait a minute, I'm sort of shy of switches here, so I'm going to tell it I want the top to be on and the top to be off. And it had no problem with that, so now I have an extra switch with the bottom rocker here. So we're going to go ahead and 
program, let's program one more switch here. Let's say we wanted three-way switching. So when we went into the room, we wanted to be able to turn it on and without going back across the room to turn off, we had another switch. So I'm gonna say this is on and this is off. So now I have two switches associated with that device there and I actually have, still have one switch left over. So let's go ahead and go back so I'm in four, five, six. I'm in channel six now, but nothing attached. Now seven, that takes me back out of the learn mode and I should have my lights working now. And of course I do, but let's do one more thing. Let's go and go to channel one again. And let's say we want this one to be the whole boat switch. So I'm gonna say this is on and this is off. And now let's go to channel two and give it the same switch on and off. And then channel three and say on, off as well. Now I'm going to go four, five, six, seven, and now I'm back to the operational mode. So now I've got my switches that are working. Two, and remember three was the on off from the same switch. So now let's go ahead and turn them on all, all on. And we've got them all on. Let's see if we could turn them all off with this one switch. Sure enough. So we've just showed you in just a couple of seconds how to program three banks of lights for three different cabins. We've shown you how to do three-way switching, which is turning on the switch using, using one switch and turning it off using the other switch. So that's the three-way switching. And we've shown you whole boat on and off. That could be useful in security situations or let's say you're on your dinghy and you want to have all the lights come on the boat with one touch of the switch in the companion way. Very easy to do, very easy to set up. Includes all your circuit protection. I didn't cover dimming, but let's just look at that right now. You just hold the button down and you get full dimming. And it has a memory as well, so when you come back to that switch, that will be dimmed. So that's the Shaber system available on marinebeam.com.